In this video, we will show you where to get the FortiClient EMS installer, how to install the software, the process for logging into EMS for the first time, and the location of important software and account settings. Let's get started. To download FortiClient EMS, please navigate your browser to forticlient.com and follow the instructions, or alternatively, contact your Fortinet sales representative. After going through the steps to register EMS to your Fortinet account, a download link will be provided for you. Once the executable is downloaded, double-click on the installer. Review and accept the Fortinet product license agreement when requested. During the installation, which may take 15 to 20 minutes, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express SP1 is set up alongside the FortiClient EMS software. Since the Microsoft SQL Server software needs components that are only accessible online, an active internet connection is required to complete the installation. The EMS Administrative Console is accessible via the newly created FortiClient Enterprise Management Server desktop shortcut or within the usual Start Menu Program section. When launching EMS for the first time, the default username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase and no password. We'll show you how to change it after we take a look at the account settings. Once EMS loads, you will be greeted by the Getting Started window that directs you to helpful documentation and videos. Feel free to explore the materials at your leisure, but for now, let's close the window and look at the account and software settings. Welcome to the FortiClient Enterprise Management Server Console. We will go into all the capabilities and features of the software in later videos, but for now, let's take a look at the upper right-hand corner of the console to the three pull-down menus. The menu on the far right displays the currently logged in account and allows you to log out of the software. To the left of that in the help menu, you will see links to assist you in maximizing your experience using EMS. These include direct links to Fortinet's technical forums, document library, and video library. It's worth taking a look at the about section within this menu. This window displays all the current information about EMS, including software version number, serial number, engine versions, and signature versions. Moving on to the view menu, we see a number of items worth exploring. However, most of these options will be covered in later videos in this series. For now though, click on User Management. Here we can change the admin account password from the default blank setting to something more secure with at least 8 characters. Once you have changed the account password, you will be forced to log in again. Under the View menu, proceed to the Settings option. This menu contains configuration options for the server network behavior, how logs are collected and removed, as well as connecting FortiClient EMS to Fortinet's FortiGuard services. Take note of options within the Server Settings tab, like scanning local workgroups, turning on remote administration access, associating a domain name, and the IP addresses and ports used for network activity. That concludes our tutorial on how to install EMS and where to find the configuration settings needed to maximize your endpoint management security. Keep watching this playlist for more informative videos on FortiClient EMS. Thank you for watching.